Okay, so I want to get into this conversation about the list that single women make, you know, uh, uh, as they're waiting. So there's this list. You know the list that I'm talking about. Um, but one of the things that I want to talk about today is your type. Do you have a type? All right, let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Solomon, the Soulmate Ready Coach. If you're new here, I'm glad you made it because this is the place where I'm helping single Christian women turn praying and waiting into taking those next steps to be ready for your kingdom marriage. So in this video today, I want to talk about having a type, making that list. Let's, let's, let's chit chat about that for a minute. Okay, are you ready? Because I've got some things that you want to think about when you start making that list and being specific and I want him to be, you know, six feet two and I want him to drive this kind of car and I want him to make this much money and he has to have, you know, all the things. We want to kind of tap into that for a minute. One of the things that uh, you want to consider is when you do that, you put God in a box. Yeah, you actually can. You can put God in a box when it comes to him bringing the man that he has for you. Now, yes, you know, the word of God says that, you know, delight thyself also in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. He's going to send me exactly what I like. Hmm, part for a minute. Yes, he'll send you what you like, but he'll also send you what you need. And here's the thing to do to get solid on this. If you really want the soulmate that he has for you, if you really want that type of relationship, and we're talking about kingdom marriage here, you want to surrender. You have to surrender your will. And the reason that that is vital to this whole kingdom marriage arrangement is because if you've got your thoughts going on about what you want and how he needs to be and, and, and all of that, then you push God out of the way in terms of what he wants to bring you and who he wants to bring you, what he wants you to have. He totally has your best interest at heart, the Lord does. He totally knows what you want. He knows what you need. And you have to trust him. You have to give him the opportunity to show up in the major incredible way that he can being God. So it's really important that you surrender. I know it's hard. <laughs> it's big time hard. Trust me, I get it. It's hard because you're thinking, oh my gosh, okay, what if he sends me this guy that's like 5'2", you know, and you're six feet or 5'9". And what if he's like super overweight, you know, and you don't want someone that's super overweight? Um, you know, you start, heads start going in this direction of the what ifs. What if he sends me this? Or, oh my gosh, what if he looks like that? Or, and then the real part, because we know attraction is pretty important. What if I'm not attracted to him? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Again, God knows the desires of your heart. He knows what you want and he knows what you need. And I, he's not going to, if, he, if any of that does happen, I truly believe that he's going to make a way for that love to happen between the two of you. If he's not checking off all the boxes, he is going to make a way, you know, soften that heart, open that heart up to where, you know, you, you do fall in love with him or that attraction is there. We're talking about soulmate attraction, right? So that attraction is there. He's not going to be so off the, 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 the cuff to where he's just like missing all the boxes and doing all the things. I don't believe that. Another reason that you want to surrender your will is because this next season of your life that you're stepping into, it's way bigger than both of you. He has a purpose and he has a plan for that union to come together and be about his business, doing his will in the world, doing big things in the world. So that's what I want you to take into consideration. I want you to think about that this week, surrendering your will 
so that God can be God. He can bring you who he wants you to have. He knows what he's doing. Trust him that he's going to bring you who you want and what you need. Now, down in the comments below, let's get a conversation going. Do you find it hard to surrender your will? Because if that's the case, you're still operating in a form of control. And that's not a good place to be. And you want to release control because ultimately God is in control, right? We want to remember that he is the one that is in control. And what you're also doing is you're pushing pause on that person coming to you, on him bringing that person into your life. So you don't want to do that, right? We want to get to a place to we say, Lord, okay, I surrender my will. I know that you have my best interest at hand. You're going to bring me the man that I'm going to love and he's going to love me and it's all good. And it's for your glory. It's for his glory because the two of you are a powerhouse. You are a powerhouse couple and you're going to be doing major things in the world for his purpose. Get those comments going down below. Let me know if, if this video serves you. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like it, and share it. Don't keep a good thing to yourself. Share it with one of your sister girls so that they can tune in to this channel as well. Hey, listen, I believe that God has a purpose and a plan, a wonderful plan for every single woman who has prayed and asked God to send her husband. But I also believe that you have a part to play as well for God to be able to present you as his queen, your husband's queen. So you got to do the work. And that's what we're doing here on this channel, getting into that work that we have to do, that inner work, that mindset work, whatever you need to do to prepare yourself for the man that God is bringing into your life. And another caveat, <laughs> usually once you've surrendered, guess what? He ends up sending you exactly what you want anyway, but you got to work through that control part and that surrendering part. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.